our viewers are just tearing the hell out of this game, but don't worry, I'm here. Dead Space 3. Let me start off by saying something about Dead Space. It has been universally panned by the quote-unquote professional critics as not being part of the Dead Space franchise. That they've changed it, that they've pulled a Resident Evil on you. And it, the fact is, it's not that. Now granted, they have made the control scheme a little bit easier to play, which some might say takes a little bit of the horror element out of it. In fact, the co-op section of the game, which we'll get into later, does admittedly take out some of the scares because you're playing with a friend, but single player still gets it just as bad. And the question is, how does the game hold up? We're about to find out. Let's get things started with the gameplay. Now, admittedly, when you're playing this gameplay co-op, it feels more like an army of two game. There's nothing wrong with that, but if you're expecting this to see two-player dead space, you may be somewhat disappointed. However, I must say co-op is not forced, like other games where they've added it in, like Resident Evil 5 and 6. When you play single player, there is no AI partners. And yes, there's not as many scares, I admit, but you will be freaked out once or twice at least during this game, if not more. There's also no couch co-op, but I understand why. When you play the game, you'll see why as well. Some co-op system is drop in and drop out. So if you have a less than accurate internet connection, you'll be able to just pop right back into your friend's game should you lose connection. Co-op also adds a bit of replayability to the game that it might not otherwise have had, as there are some missions where you and your partner will split up into different areas. You'll want to replay these sections just to see it from their point of view. This game also added in side quests, but honestly it's more like Horde mode in Dead Space for most of them. It could have been better thought out. I mean, what we have is fun, but it could have been a lot better. Customizability. Now this is huge in this game for your guns. You can make all kinds of crazy weapons. There are also no stores, so loot hunting is huge in this game. You want to make sure you have enough stuff, you can craft your bullets, you can craft everything. Over I give the gameplay of Dead Space 3 a 7 out of 10. It's great, but the cover system and the hit detection really could have used some work. Next up, let's take a look at the graphics. Now the graphics of this game is where a main portion of your scares come from. Not so much even from the enemies, though they are incredibly freaky looking, but more from the environments and the photoreal backgrounds. The lip syncs when your character is talking matches up perfectly. In fact, the only complaint I have about this game is that some of the enemies are the same as each other. Now this happens where you run out of model space, admittedly, but you could hide it better with like a bandana or a helmet on your head, something that would differentiate them. Overall, I give the graphics of Dead Space 3 an 8 out of 10. They are incredible. The only one complaint I had, and if you can only find one complaint about a game, well that's pretty good. Next up, we'll take a look at the soundtrack. Now the soundtrack of Dead Space 3 is another area where the creepy comes from. These are the sound effects and the music cues. The second you hear that mushing, gnawing sound, letting you know there's a necromorph coming, you're ready to go. You're freaking out, you're aiming at anything, you're shooting anything that moves, which is just what the game wants you to do. Top of the music cues really do imply the emotion they want you to feel for the game. You'll feel for the character and the situations they're in. On top of that, the voice actors are absolutely perfect. Nobody phoned it in on this one. Overall, the soundtrack of Dead Space 3 earns a 9 out of 10. It is damn near flawless. Let's take a look at the story. The story of Dead Space 3 sees our hero Isaac return. I'm not going to give you all the specifics, but let's just say he's out to save his girl and possibly the world. The beginning of this game involves a madman who wants to destroy all humanity. He believes all humanity has to die. So he releases a ton of necromorphs to do just that. And it's your job to find a way to stop him. This is just one part of a much larger story I'm not going to give away here. But if you played 1 and 2, I believe you'll really enjoy it. Overall, I give the story of Dead Space 3 an 8 out of 10. It's a fantastic ride from beginning to satisfying conclusion. Finally, let's take a look at customer care. Now, the customer care for Dead Space 3 is a mixed bag. Now, one thing they did do for the fans is before the game was released, they had a contest where different gamers could come up with the craziest guns they could come up with and send them to the developer. These guns are now in the game as blueprints you can use. That does show that they care about fan support and they do want to involve them in the creation of the game. The microtransactions, now that's something that's been hit on by a lot of reviewers. Microtransactions in this game they're not forced. You don't have to do them. You can loot hunt like old school and still get the same amount of weapons, it's just more difficult. 
So I like the fact that they have it in there, but it's not forced. Now, if it had been forced to do it, I would have really been pissed off. But it's not, so I'm not. There's no couch co-op, but again, when you play the game, you'll understand why there's not couch co-op. And I found no bugs and no glitches in this game that I've seen, not only from myself, but from anyone in the industry I've seen playing it or heard about it from. And so overall, I give custom care for Dead Space 3 a 7 out of 10. It did really well this time, and I almost do hope to see Dead Space 4, but honestly, I'm not sure if we will or not. It's way too early to tell. Overall, I give Dead Space 3 a 39 out of 50. It's a great game. Even if you don't like the genre, I would say at least give it a rent because it may change your mind. That's it for this review. For anything else like it and anything else gamer related, please head over to holdtheline.com. Until next time, my name is Vega Goose saying when life's got you down, throw it in the goblin and keep kicking ass. I'll see you next time.